Dear friends, I welcome in the third lecture of SYBSC Organic Chemistry. Friends, in last lecture, we have studied aromatic compounds, classification of aromatic compounds and different derivatives of benzene. Today, we are going to discuss Huckel's rule for aromaticity. You are well aware that aromatic compounds play an important role in the society. It is very important in different industries. Industries such as a paint industry, petroleum industry, etc. Therefore, we must study the aromatic compounds. You know, aromatic compounds are ring compounds. It is a planar one and it is having a degree of saturations. Though it has a degree of saturation, unsaturations, but uh, it does not follow addition reaction. Aromatic compounds are highly stable and it follow only substitution reactions. Why it follow aromatic, uh, why it follow substitution reaction? It is, it is studied by one famous scientist uh, known as Huckel. Huckel was a German scientist. He studied aromatic compound in 1931 and postulated one rule known as a Huckel's rule. According to Huckel's rule, any fully conjugated planar cyclic compound which contains 4n plus 2 pi electron are said to be aromatic. Therefore, Huckel's rule 4n plus 2 pi electrons. Thus, we can apply this rule for various aromatic compounds. Consider first example. You know, benzene is well known example, which is known as an aromatic compound. In benzene ring, there is only one. In benzene, there is only one ring, and uh, therefore, by applying this rule for benzene, four into one plus two, therefore, totally six pi electrons. And if we count number of pi electrons in benzene ring, we will found. 2 plus 2, 4 plus 2, 6. Therefore, we can say that benzene ring obey Huckel's rule. Consider next example. Naphthalene. So, this is nothing but naphthalene. Naphthalene is bicyclic compound. It is aromatic compound. It is having a how many pi electrons? See here. 2 plus 2, 4, 6, 8. 10 pi electrons. We have a 10 pi electrons. Thus, if we apply this rule for naphthalene, then you will get here 4 into 2. Where in this case, n is equal to 2. Rings are 2. Therefore, we have to take here n is equal to 2. 4 into 2 plus 2. 4 into 2 means 8 plus 2. You will get a 10 pi electrons. And just we have counted pi electrons in actual naphthalene ring, we have 10 pi electrons, therefore we can say that naphthalene is obey Huckel's rule. Let us consider third example. So this is the third example. This is a tricyclic compound. Name of this compound is anthracene. Anthracene is Tricyclic compound, it is included in polycyclic aromatic compound. And if we count number of pi electron in anthracene, see here 2 plus 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and 14. Total pi electrons in anthracene is equal to 14 pi electrons. Let us apply this concept, a case rule for anthracene, then we we'll get here 4 into 3 plus 2. 4 into 3 means 12 plus 2. We we'll get a 14 pi electrons. Thus, according to Huckel's rule, we have calculated 14 pi electrons as well as in actual structure 
we have total 14 pi electrons. Therefore, we can say that anthracene molecules obey Huckel's rule. Friends, I think you understand this Huckel's rule very well. Now, after Huckel's rule, we have to turn towards next point of this chapter that is the preparation of benzene. As I have mentioned, benzene is very important molecule, very important chemical compound in industries. Therefore, we must know the preparation of benzene. Benzene can be prepared industrially by various methods. The first important method for preparation of benzene is nothing but from acetylene. In, in this method, what happens here? What we have to do? Acetylene molecule is a gas. We have to pass this acetylene gas over red hot tube of iron or copper and thus this three, uh, three molecule of acetylene get cyclized into benzene molecule. Second method from phenols. Benzene can be prepared from phenol. When phenol is uh, reacted with, is allowed to heat in presence of zinc dust, there is a reduction of this OH group into benzene. OH group is get removed, that means reduction takes place and we get a benzene and there is a formation of benzene and byproduct is zinc oxide. Let us consider third method for preparation of benzene. Benzene can be synthesized from third important compound that is a sodium benzoate. So this is the sodium benzoate. When sodium benzoate reacted with alkali like sodium hydroxide in presence of lime calcium oxide and it is heated to certain temperature, uh, this carboxylic group get removed and uh, benzene is formed and this uh, COONA and calcium oxide this uh, this is get uh, this is get converted into uh, sodium carbonate. Then fourth important method for synthesis of benzene is nothing but from benzene sulfonic acid. In this method, benzene sulfonic acid simply when reacted with steam of water at 150 to 200 degrees Celsius, this uh, SO3H group is get hydrolyzed, get removed and we get a benzene and byproduct formation is H2SO4. So friends, in this way, we can synthesize benzene industrial by, industrially by using various methods. Thank you very much. Friends, now we have to discuss reactions of benzene, aromatic compounds. As I earlier mentioned that benzene and aromatic compounds, other aromatic compounds undergo substitution reaction rather than addition reaction. Though it has a number of unsaturations in ring, but it never follow addition reaction. So, aromatic compounds always follow aromatic substitution substitution reaction. Actually, all these aromatic compounds follow electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction. In this reaction, what happens when we take any aromatic compound and when reacted with any electrophile E plus, it forms substituted aromatic compound. In this reaction, electrophile replaces hydrogen atom present on aromatic ring. In this reaction, actually what happens when electrophile and benzene or any aromatic compound allowed to react with each other, actually there is a formation of arrhenium complex, around arrhenium intermediate. Actually, when it is get contact, it is get mixed with each other at that time, electrophile never react. There is a common, uh, these pi electrons are get extended towards electrophile and we get a such a type of complex. This is known as a arrhenium, arrhenium complex. 
and this arrhenium complex slowly get converted into final products. So we have several types of reaction. In aromatic electrophilic substitution reaction, we have nitration, we have sulfonation reaction, friedel crafts alkylation, friedel crafts acylation, halogenation. These are the several reactions included in aromatic electrophilic substitution reaction. Today, we are going to learn one reaction of this type that is a nitration reaction. Nitration. Nitration is a type of aromatic electrophilic substitution reaction in which hydrogen atom of aromatic nucleus is get replaced by an electrophile nitro group. So this is nothing but nitration reaction. Friends, though this reaction seems to be so simple, but it is not so simple. We have to take various reactants in this reaction. For this reaction, for nitration reaction, we have to take the mixture of concentrated H2SO4 plus concentrated HNO3. And this mixture we have to take 2H21 in this proportion. H2SO4 requires in double quantity. And when this mixture is prepared, it generates nitronium ion and this nitronium ion once get generated in the reaction mixture pi electron cloud of aromatic compound get attacked on this nitronium electrophile and there is the formation of sigma complex or arrhenium complex in this reaction and this arrhenium complex slowly get converted into final product that is a nitrobenzene. So this is the nitrobenzene. So this is the classical example of aromatic electrophilic substitution reaction. In the next lecture, we have to learn sulfonation, halogenation, Friedel-Crafts, alkylation, acylation, etc. Thank you very much.